Now what I'm, I'm going to do is actually hop back through this portal just to see where it takes me. Which shall be interesting. Is it going to bring me back to where I was? No, it's not. I am stuck in short base. Okay, so this is the lovely base of Shorts for the win. I'm sure you know it quite well. So I'm going to head out here and I guess I've got a long walk back home. You can see just how much glowstone this guy has got. Wow. Tinker's Construct Glass. It looks very good. Very swanky. Anyway, I hope I'm not giving away any spoilers, and I am going to head on back home, so I'll see you back there in a few minutes. Okay, so we have finally made it all the way back home. That took quite some time. It's a heck of a long way. So let's go on and actually make the machines that we need, because the first machine that we need is the Magma Crucible. That's here, it needs a machine frame, it needs nether bricks and a redstone energy cube. Obviously these are made from nether bricks which you can make by cooking up nether rack. That's why I grabbed the nether rack. I'll just do up half of it. Because we don't need to do it all. We also need a machine frame, a reception coil and a leadstone energy cube. Or frame at least. I have completely filled this little thing up, haven't I? I am in desperate need of getting a proper sorting system. I've said it several times, but it is going to come very soon now. Right, one machine. That is not what I'm trying to make. Try again with grabbing the glowstone. making up a block of redstone and making up that leadstone cell frame. Uh, right, I also need a machine frame. Of course it would help if some of these things had been stacked properly. Let's do that. Did I see there's a machine frame in there? No? Am I going... Right there. Why is there a machine frame? Did I need one? Confused. I am going to use that machine frame because I've got it right there. It is very annoying that you cannot shift click. I also need some copper and a redstone reception coil. I do have some, but those are the ones that are waiting to be used to make my awesome jetpack, which will come eventually. So there is another one of those. Two pieces of copper. That machine frame and that. And then all I need are some bricks, which should by now have made it into here. Some nether bricks. One, two, nether bricks. There we go. Hop back over here. And one, two, and we have a magma crucible. Now the magma crucible works really closely with this thing. This is the fluid transposer. So I am going to have to pop this out and think of better places to put things because this is such a darned mess. It is really getting quite annoying now. So for now what I'm going to do, which is really no less of a mess, uh, that is hardened. Do I have any leadstone? I can just pop them on there, can't I? All that I'm going to do is pop the magma crucible and the fluid transposer on top of here just for now. I'm going to move all my machines through into here. So the magma crucible melts things. The fluid transposer puts it in to other things. Both are slowly filling up with power because this thing is. 
So what I need to put in here is item ducts. I need to fill up item ducts with glowstone. I have no idea how much glowstone it takes, but if I put a piece in, you should be able to see that it should start to melt. Okay, it is melting. It was just really slow to get started. Now, I think two pieces should be enough to do a single one of these. Oh, in fact, one piece will do one. That's really good. So I only actually needed two pieces of glowstone. That was one. And the next one is coming along really, really slowly. So I can put the rest of this stuff back in here. Now, I should also be able to pop out some well, it's called Tinker's Alloy Ingot, which is exactly the same thing as a piece of bronze. Let's make these thrusters up, because I need some of those, so I need four gears. So four bronze gears. I need six bronze gears, don't I? skills. Right, with some more bronze, redstone and the conductance coils. Well, get me these two. These two are the reactant dynamos. I need another pair of those. And with those and these, I think we are nearly there. Let's just go and see we've got two impulse item ducts, which we do. Right, we have dynamos, dynamos, gears, gears and gears. We have those. We have hardened redstone and redstone flux capacitors. So this obviously needs a redstone. We have a leadstone here. And what else do we need? We need a redstone. Don't we need like two of each? Do we not need two of each? Surely we do. Okay, so sorry about that. I was hitting all of the wrong keys on my keyboard, but we are back and I have made up a load of leadstone flux capacitors, hardened flux capacitors, all the rest of it. I think we finally have all the bits that we need. And it is a lot to make one of these. I really didn't realise. So we need to make up the redstone thruster, which requires each one of these in turn. So let's just start at the beginning. Uh, does it? No, it just needs the redstone. Hang on. Redstone thruster needs redstone flux capacitor, invar gears, and the reactant dynamo. Have I made up too much stuff here or what? Probably so. Oh, we need redstone energy conduit, but that's easy. It is electrum and hardened glass. Hardened glass is made in an instruction smelter from pulverised obsidian, which is something which I have not quite made yet. Now, do we have any more obsidian left? The short answer to that is no, of course we don't. So I'm going to go and take down my nether portal for raw materials. Okay, so to make up some obsidian dust, all that you do is you pop some obsidian into a pulverizer and you'll get it out extremely quickly. Four and another four makes eight. I also need a little bit of lead. There's those, and this goes into an induction smelter, which fortunately we do have more than one of. So, eight obsidian and two lead is going to make us up a little bit of hardened glass. So two pieces of hardened glass. I think we only actually needed one, probably. 
and a little bit of an electrum. Hardened glass is very useful stuff. Yeah, you get six from each. That is fine. So, the Invar gears, the those. I will keep those on me. They will be very useful later. And a reception coil. Gets us our redstone thruster. We are on our way. Right, to make the jetpack we also need the redstone flux capacitor. Have I just made tons of stuff which I don't need? I really, really have, haven't I? Never mind, never mind, never mind. We need some of those. We need a iron tunic, which is very, very quick to get together. Just leave those in there with that for the minute. Because I have enough mess about as it is. So iron chest plate and the redstone thruster. Easy as that, we have ourselves a redstone jetpack. Fantastic, I can take off my leadstone one. Let's charge this up. You can see that this one holds 25,000 RF, uh, this one holds 2 million RF, but it does use it a lot quicker. Wow, that has completely drained my power. My god, that takes a lot of power. That's absolutely fine, I've got no problems with that. I can probably cook this stuff back up again to be honest. So let's just leave that charging for a couple of seconds. Whilst, well, let's actually... I can't wait. Let's try it on. So here's my redstone jetpack and... It is not switched on. Here's my redstone jetpack, and that is substantially quicker. Wow. Okay, let's go visit the village. So yeah, it does fly forward a little bit quicker, and you can see from the number on the left, it doesn't run out of power quite so quickly. That is good. Back to the village. I think I've decided to call this village something like um, Pig Tree Village, I think it's a good name pig tree village because that pig has been stuck in that tree ever since I came here. We have some more baby villagers, that's pretty awesome. Running about, who is about in here? Anybody new? Are you new or are you the dude? Well that's just unfriendly sir. You're the dude offering a saddle for emeralds, you are offering copper. So yeah, not a lot new to be honest in here at the minute. You are the same dude, are you? And there is nobody in here. You really don't like this house, you guys, do you? We also have too many Elvises. We've got to do something about that. So, I do believe that will be it for this episode. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. This thing is brilliant. It has only just gone down to six. Next time we should probably come back and have a proper examination of the nether. This is great fun. You can get really far up, actually. I've no idea. Do you hit the block limit? No, I'm still going. Well, I'm off on my way to the moon. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I do hope to see you once again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.